Tadam. Okay, so Anna traveled recently, Bandung, Indonesia. Um, they competed alongside different countries. It's an international dance competition and they won. They won as a grand champion in juniors division. Yay, congratulations. While she was there, she bought me this. This is a porigami. It's an actual draper, this thin, and it folds to form a conical dripper right so let's open it um, yeah actually I was so excited I already opened it I just put it back in the box so that I can show you um, I can show you the, the unboxing okay when you open the box it says here that it's a travel coffee dripper and that the 2019 US barista champion Sam Spillman shares her recipe and technique for making the perfect porigami pour over. You just have to scan the QR code printed on the label. Um, there is an instruction manual on how to on how to assemble the device. So but yeah that's about it. That's just the box. Right. So it comes in with this nice little pouch that is again foldable and within this pouch you can actually put in your um, paper filter because it has a nice lining that let me try putting a paper filter in there Yeah, it's gonna be folded another it's gonna be folded in half if you put it here but the point of this product is to actually provide you with a very portable v60 all right let's bring out the porigami it comes in three different parts so it looks like this yeah there and then you assemble it so like the pointed part you just have to point it in the square part of the other um, other piece so this the, the pointed part you just have to line it line it up with the square part of another piece and then slip it in like that and then you do the same to another piece and then eventually they close the loop and then interlock each other to form this dripper there it's a triangle dripper all right but the angle is um i guess 60 degrees let's see um Okay, I'm not sure if the angle is 60 degrees, but for now, we're just going to call it a conical dripper. Right. Um, I'm going to prepare all the things that I need to brew this coffee. So we need our water heater, our gusne kettle. Let's put some water into that. All right, we're gonna start heating up that water. Make sure that we have a thermometer before it gets hot. See, the coffee that we're using today is from Herd. It's from Indonesia as well. This is East Java Ijen Lestari CM Natural. Right. Um, yesterday, in the previous video yesterday, I actually brewed this as an espresso and it was so good. It's really good. Okay, we're gonna weigh 13 grams. We're gonna do like a safe grind size for now. 
because we don't know how how the water behaves inside this stripper yet all right so we're gonna do 22 clicks oh if you're wondering this is a commandante grinder so this the sleeve i make them and i sell them for only 700 pesos and then I also make these uh, mini jars. So they're actually half of the original jar of the Comandante. It's kind of, for me, I wanted to, I wanted to make it smaller so that it's more efficient. Smaller jar size because I only, I only grind 13 grams at a time or 20 grams at most. So I don't really need a 40 gram jar. For my commandante that's why i thought of making this mini jar so the mini jar i sell them for 500 pesos right so if you want one message me on my instagram and right now we are only shipping within the philippines so hopefully in the future we get to um we get to send these products outside the philippines right Oh, it smells so good. All right, um, now let's prepare the server that I'm using again. My travel kit uses the AeroPress Go Cup as my server. So I'm guessing we only fold the conical paper filter as it is. Put it there and let... Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to try folding it. Um, in a triangular pattern so that I establish a crease and it doesn't give out. It needs a bit of uh, learning to perfect that triangle fold. Anyway, I'm sure the water will help fix the paper onto that uh, dripper. Maybe we can just pour in some right now. To let it settle first the water is at 85 and we have 89 All right so i'm gonna stop the stove right there and we're gonna start brewing remember don't forget to Throw away your rinsing water. I've seen a lot of that happen in the past. Just don't forget to throw away your rinsing water. Right, we are brewing at 90 degrees. Yes, 90 degrees. Okay, so for our first pour, I did 30 ml of water. And I think it behaves the same way as a V60. The only difference is it's triangle. Hmm. Okay, and then for the second pour, I did up to 100 ml. And let's see how fast it is going to bring that water down. I think it brings down the water in a decent speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Right, for my third pour, I am doing up to 150 ml and I'm going to try and shake the bed at this point. But yeah, it brings down the water in a nice um, steady pace. And finally, pour up to 200 ml. Actually, Anna bought this for me. She thought it would be a nice addition to my collection for travel kits final brew time is around 2 minutes and 30 seconds let's try the coffee I know that it could be better maybe go down uh, grind size it tastes bland <laughs> it's flat and it's bland yeah the flavor is not coming out maybe it could be benefit from a smaller grind size i don't know maybe because it's the first time i'm using this dripper 
um, maybe it could benefit from a smaller grind size. So we'll try that next in the future. Ah, oh, there, there it is. There it is. The body is a bit thin. Um, it's obvious that the grind size is at fault in this brew. Um, we should use. We should be able to use around 18 clicks on the Comandante. Um, I think it should be fine because right now as I'm looking at this we have nice air pockets on three sides and then we have minimal um, bypass on all three sides as well so I think we have a nice we have a nice um, water flow from this um, dripper let me take a look under yeah, so basically the bottom of the cone is floating. It's like it's like the same as it's like the same as an apex where you have really nice airflow at the bottom. But yeah, right now the flavor is coming out. It's got some nice brightness to it, minimal sweetness, but the body is very thin. It's really, really thin. I'm going to be playing with this dripper because I really like how it saves me a lot of space when, when I'm traveling. You can actually put this inside your pocket. Yeah, it's like a wallet. It's very thin. And it collapses. Right? So it's, it's a nice contender to the portability of the Sui Ren. And yeah, um, I will be playing and I will be doing another video for you to be able to properly use this dripper. But for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!